Okay, here we are. SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Rehydrate this. Back in my child, this was my first ever proper video game. Like, I had played games before, you know, like Pokemon, but they were from a brother's game. So this was like the first proper video game that like, I asked my father to buy for me. But you know, it was my game basically, you know what I mean? So this was the first proper video game I played by myself. I think I was five years old when this came out. So yeah, you can imagine how happy I was when this was remade. And you can see here, I already played through the whole thing. Um, uh, one time spatula is called everything. I, I think this is the first time I ever like 100%ed the game ever since it came out. I've replayed the game on the GameCube a bunch of times over the years. But I think I was never able to get all the spatulas for some reason because some levels or some things you had to do were a bit too hard for me or I just couldn't figure them out or I couldn't be bothered to figure them out. Like finding all the socks and stuff like that. But yeah, I actually did it this time. So we'll do. Uh, we'll play a new game. We we'll start a new game. Um, just you know, a trip down memory lane, childhood memories, all the nostalgia, uh, everything. Like I'm really on a SpongeBob trip, and you know, I, I thought I'm gonna try this as as my first little relaxing let's play because this game means a lot to me, and you know, SpongeBob in general was and still is a huge part of my life. So. Yeah, let's do it. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today's the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my he brand new Duplicato Tron 3000, well. I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius. Answer yes. Okay, checklist because he went complete. To Throw in the switch. <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my scrap. No, oh, hey, Plankton hello? uses scrapbook. <laughs> what do you think you're I doing? I want to see that. Your master! I made you! No! No! Oh my good China! <laughs> As a kid, I thought this was really horrifying the way you hear him scream at me. Another end. perfect day playing robots and racehorses! Yeah! Only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots is, mixed uh, up. How that film, Wouldn't it be great if you had real robots to play with, Patrick? I mean mine. Robo Jr. Like, or yeah, Zorlon. Or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just any <laughs> shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. And we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, Hooray. aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Pushpa Griddle Bits Von Vitaschnasser, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? <laughs> sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook it. And in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. 
Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best the day ever. Trousers, Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. It's looking amazing. The next morning. Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Whoa! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Let's be honest, I wouldn't put a post in. And here we Yeah, go. Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. What a Gary. fantastic idea! Adorable. These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? Meow. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Mm. Well, so if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. So is it kind of this entire game takes place over one single day? That, yeah, that is indeed a very long day. Explore the kitchen, the bedroom. That's not the attic, that's his library. Is his library the attic? I don't know, like, in... It's not really the attic, is it? And the closet. Here we go. And let's watch Tally first. Breaking news! Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror! So much for fixing this quietly. <laughs> <laughs> Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble. Uh-oh. Mm. Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. We'll keep you posted <laughs> as this tragic story unfolds. Tragically, we're sure. Everything is so tragic. Okay, so let's explore the kitchen. I make myself a snack, but there's no time! Oh, a note not. from Mr. Krabs! <sighs> and it even smells sweaty, just like him. Ew. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been, er, uh, promoted to head shiny object collector. Is this like a fax machine? Is this like the Bikini Bottom Spongebob version of a fax machine and that's why it's a note? Or did Mr. Krabs break into Spongebob's house and put the note <laughs> just there? Wow! A promotion! This is an adorable animation. That's right! A promotion! <laughs> so what this here new job Love entails is thing. you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. Uh, I will say something about the voice of, uh, of Mr. Krabs later when we actually uh, meet him because I know there are uh, a lot of thoughts on, on the voice since it's not the original from the cartoon. I remember when I played this for the first time, I was so excited because I was able to explore SpongeBob's house and there were uh, to me as a kid so many details where I was like, oh, look at this, I can see the sink and I can see where SpongeBob cooks his dinner and all that. I was just, I was way too excited about everything. I like that he keeps this picture. You're a mystery. I think you won. The ringer, you won that one. That's a gigantic shower. Nice curtains. Nice bamboo curtains. I okay. make myself a snack, but there's no time! Ten, so let's go in here. Maybe a little bounce down the old bed. Yeah, a little bounce. I'm I remember there used to be like this nice little noise when you jumped on the bed, like it got all squeaky. I cancelled that. I cancelled that out. Just sad. Like, also, I think uh, you used to be able in, in like the GameCube version to jump on up there. I haven't mentioned it so far in this version. Yeah, it prevents you from jumping on the thing. Which I, yeah, you used to be able to do. Or like the. The alarm clock used to make a noise when you hit it. Like, this is one of the few things I mind about this remake. They like, take out, like, the details, like the noises and stuff like that. Oh, 
the thing. Oh, we can actually jump on the thing. It's a bit hard in this one. But nice detail to the ceiling. Okay, so that's good. I take that one back. Sandy. <laughs> I used to really like this, how they explain to you how you can get hurt and you need underwear. Every time he gets hit, like this, <laughs> it just like what to fashion drop safe on him. Okay, yeah, so we need underwear. Fresh like a spring breeze. Let's go into the library. There we go. I wish they used the library more often in, in, in the actual quantum because I think it's an interesting setting. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? I'm not gonna read the signs, I don't know how it works, the most it's just explain stuff, push, so push, text, push, but push. pushing buttons and all that. I love opening presents. As a kid I used to think that the faces on these tiki's were just ever so slightly creepy. And I'm not sure if the, if the remake of this makes them more or less terrifying, I'm not sure. Um, but let's press some buttons. This is where I keep all my old comic books. Let's press this, and then press this button to get this fancy ball, and then push it over here. Come on, come on, giant football Get over there. Then maybe I can. Yes, I can. Push this button. SpongeBob, stop stealthing. Eh, hurry, hurry. Camera. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. I always wonder why they put an extra platform over here. Like, can you jump somewhere from here? I don't know. Maybe a little bounce on the old bed. No time. Okay. So now we can go and collect the first golden spatula. Yes. Hooray! Wonderful. Let's head out. Nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. <laughs> That's a really good line, I think. I'm gonna use that, polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. That's very fitting They just animation. showed up out of nowhere and started that? calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. So random, but for some reason I really like how Mr. Lawrence says that line. It's, it's just, I like it. It's good. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks! <laughs> Not the forks! <laughs> Not the of forks! Of course I'll help! I wonder if he has. Oh, wait, like, what are they called? Sporks or something like that? Spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas! In your dreams. You've got a deal! Let's destroy some tiki's. Uh, ah, oh, here we go. Here's Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. <laughs> no more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. <laughs> Just of course straight make up a small then. profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. So, yeah, a lot of people, uh, even back then when the game came out, complained that, oh, this uh, Mr. Krabs' voice is awful, it's not the original voice. 
I'm gonna be totally honest, as a kid, I never noticed that this was not the Mr. Krabs voice from the cartoon. So, I didn't even really find out about that until years later, and till then I've already played this game multiple times, so I was never really bothered by the new voice. Like, I still think it's okay, obviously it, the original voice is the best voice you could have, but, you know, I think this, this voice actor did a f fine job, it's okay, you can listen to it. I don't know, I just felt like saying that because I feel like people uh, complained about the voice um, too much. So, yeah, just get that one out there. Bubble Buddy! Hey, SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand! Bubble Buddy! You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man! The giant monkey man! But, uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new Can bubble we moves. Can go to the 8th dimension and defeat that mo Oh my god, look at Patrick in the background. <clears throat> look at that stare. No creepy at all. Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you! Try it out! Let's try it out. Yeah, so there's this neat little move where yeah, Spongebob puts presents. on this Leif Erikson helmet, Viking helm, helmet, and yeah. And I just like that. I just like the animation on that. It's cute. Uh, Patrick, what up with you? Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. I wonder what they need those socks for. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay. That was random, but okay. Okay then, for every 10 socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. <laughs> Another find for Patrick! It's the first sock there. Um, let's go into Patrick's house, I think that's another sock in there. I'm not gonna, like, try to collect all Living the socks under a in rock. this no, playthrough. That's I just life. wanna like, do it, relax and play, play through the story. So, I won't bother you with, like, trying to find everything. But, you know, if we see one, we can pick it up. Unfortunately, we have to destroy the couch. Hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry! Hmm. Let's go to one of my favorite locations. Squidward's house. I was super excited as a kid that I was able to go into Squidward's house because I really wanted to explore it. It, you know, ends up being a Our little disappointing because it's just one room. A perfectly okay. relaxing mud bath this morning, and now you show up. But it's Can Squidward. my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. Ha, <laughs> ha, move to another town. Ha, <laughs> I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. <laughs> well, if it makes me smile. I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. Oh, okay. Let's I jump around know a bit. Squidward had a lamp. You don't have to say it again, Spongebob. Let's jump around and destroy some stuff. Sorry, oh. Squidward. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Just stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? See, Squidward? I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. He don't really touch is. me. <laughs> don't touch me. And second spatula. Oh, Squidward. I used to find you slightly irritating as a kid because I didn't understand his grumpiness. 
But you know, now as an adult, this relatable character. <laughs> I remember in the in the original version, like in the GameCube version, when you did that, could his squid would like annoy the back and being like, hey! <laughs> I think it's perfect, he keeps a painting of himself in the like fancy handsome version. Makes sense. I wonder who these people are though, to squid Who knows? It's a mystery. Okay, um, sorry I got distracted by my phone there for a second. Uh, so yeah, that's everything in Squidward's house. Uh, before we go to the first level, let's look at the Agnes. I know there's some stuff on top of the building. Over here, there should be another button to press. Right here, yes, I know the game. Sorry, hurry, hurry! Timers in games always freak me out. Not good on the pressure. Come on, do the thing! Yes, all the underwear. Like a new sponge. Mm, I don't know how to find out the open circle we used to have in the old uh, So, that's everything done. Mm -hmm. You can go to the first level. Jellyfish fields. Let's go. Ah, uh, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Squidward's just so done with everything at this point. Relatable. Oh, Squidward, you deserve better. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! <laughs> His face. <laughs> Very memey. I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Not true though, he's not always been bald. I well, did like him with the long blonde hair. According to the Jellyfish Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j -j Jellyfish! Well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious <laughs> tentacles of King Jellyfish. Let's hope not. <laughs> I'll stay here. Bald up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Because nothing about about that sounds weird at all. Hey, okay, let's do this. <sighs> Look at the grass. Like the uh the first time I played this, I was just flabbergasted by it how good the grass and the water look because I remember in the original version everything looked pretty colorful as well but you know this time the grass like actually looks like grass and not just like uh, a green surface stupid robot yeah just the colors in this remake are amazing like look at the water how blue that is or the goo, or like... It's just... It's absolutely beautiful. I need some underwear, I just noticed. You can't jellyfish today, I'm going fishing for robots! Yes. Fresh, like a spring breeze! Which might be the best line in this entire game. Fresh, <laughs> like a spring breeze. I mean, as often as I am. I feel like a new sponge! 
they redesigned the trees though, I noticed. Like they used to be like orange, I think. Well, they used to look a bit more detailed. Took took away a bit of the detail by making them just blue. Which is okay, but I think I prefer the old design. Wow. Should have seen that one. Should have seen that one. Okay, no one saw that. No one saw that, Squidward. You did not see that. Okay, out of the way, out of the way. Oh, here we have a box that will be important for later. Stay away from the jellyfish. Okay, there should be a sock around here. This is always so satisfying to, to read like the combo names down there. As a kid, I, 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 I love that, what kind of ridiculous names they came up with. Okay, let's get over here. Pay some money. Yeah, shiny object. Apropos shiny object, I uh, rewatched the SpongeBob musical the other day, and there's this scene where Squidward has to gather all sorts of things for uh, a famous boy band, so they would play for Bikini Bottom, and one of the things he has to gather is like uh, 40 shiny objects or something, and. I always wondered if, if that's like a reference to this game, since you've got like shiny objects in this. Or if it, maybe it was just, well, it's just a weird line that he's supposed to collect 40 shiny objects. Uh, I don't know, I, I like to think it's a reference to the game. By the way, if you haven't seen the musical yet, you should absolutely go and see the musical. Last time I checked, there is like a bootleg on um, YouTube. If you can find the um, TV uh, version, go watch that one. But yeah, go watch the musical. It's amazing. It's it's ridiculous, but in the best way possible. And the original Broadway cast is absolutely adorable. Especially the guy who plays SpongeBob. I think his name's Ethan Slater. He's just perfect. Just met a sponginator. And yeah, you don't even have to be like a fan of musicals. If you're a fan of the cartoon, just go watch it, it's perfect. You'll probably hear me talk more about the musical throughout this Let's Play because I just love the musical. But yeah, this is my first recommendation. Okay, so there should be... yeah, there's a button over there. Let's see if we can go over there. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, the sock. Patrick will be glad to have this back. Definitely. Objects. I'm also not sure if they changed like the jumping animation when you jump on the platforms like that. But it looks more, I don't know, dynamic or likely. Okay, let's avoid these puffer fish thingies. Which I was never sure what they are. If they're like are they like actual fish? Because if they are, I'm sorry that you're being shot out of a cannon. Jump for a golden spatula! I must be in heaven! Let's check out the bungee thing. Woo! Ah, here we go. Uh, I'm, I'm having some tier one playing, so don't wonder what the weird noises are I'm occasionally making.
Ooh. Screaming in terror, yeah. That was me when I was five years old. I, I used to think this was absolutely horrifying how he smashed those his fishes. The ham. Also, I really hate the yeah, I really hate these robots for some reason. I'm so bad at avoiding them. Just my size. And it becomes a lot easier to defeat them, I think, when you get the uh, the bowling attack because then you don't have to approach anything. Love opening presents. Shiny. Uh, let's look over here. Oh, okay, that's the thing where I need. I used to love this. Uh, as a mini uh, game, because you could do actual bowling, that's gonna be fun when we get the bowling attack. There's anything down here? No, just cute, shiny objects. Just look at the colors! I so wonderful. I mean, the original game already looked astonishing, I think, when I first played like it. But this is really like a level up, I think. Gotcha. Don't jump into the goo. No, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Ah. I love this one. This is uh, jumping up high is always a satisfying in platformers, I think. Uh, yes. I love the attention to detail you can see here where the uh, bungee rope comes from. Don't fall down. Don't fall down. Oh, I remember that you can get a sock over here, which is one of the socks I had to look up because I never... I never found that one before when I was a kid. But yeah, here it is. Now, if I can carefully platform over there... Yeah. Patrick needs to do laundry. Hit me with your ham. Don't hit me with your ham. It's handful. Yep. Yep, I just I just said that. I'm a fan of bad puns, just so you're prepared. There you go. Let's travel to jellyfish caves. What? Uh, huh? What? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, How does he know no. that? I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! <laughs> Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! Oh, my bad, man. Let's do one of my favorite things in this entire game. Namely, sliding. It shines! Later on, there's a level that... Basically, it's only off sliding down, 
and that was always my favourite level. Because I always thought sliding uh, in this game was really cool. Shit. Yes. Definitely. Okay. Now we have this little arena here and we need to defeat a bunch of robots. He's unreachable, I know. Yeah, let's hit some switches. The robots. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Just my side. Oh, oh, get away from me. Let's punch up, just hit the button. Thank you. Funny. Even the game loves it. I love opening presents. There we go. Let's get Patrick. SpongeBob. Woo! Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the. Oh yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. And here we go. We get to play as Patrick for the first time. And I think uh, Patrick is uh, underrated. He's often uh, said to be like um, the least fun to play, but I disagree. I like playing with Patrick just as much as I like playing with uh, SpongeBob. Um, I have to admit that it's probably true that Sandy is the most fun to play because of her lasso. You know, that's just a nice little feature and it makes it feel cool. But you know, I, li I like his playing all of the characters, so I don't think Patrick is boring to play as. Okay. What? What? Come on! Watermelon. What? What, what, what is that? What even is that? Now, throw it at the box. Pretty sparkly thingy. That's what always my favorite tikis, by the way. Thumb tikis. Even though they hurt me all the time. Oh, we're gonna hit that fish. Sorry. The rock is talking to me. <laughs> Pantry. <laughs> I am at your command! Patrick's face animation is great Down in this. Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? Today? Has he done it before? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday. And now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knockoff wallets. <laughs> what? Oh, thank you. I mean, let's be honest, I would maybe buy those. I always, every time I don't see the plankton is there because, yeah, he's tiny. Okay, let's get into the cave. Ooh, scary dark cave. 
That was always one of my favorite locations in Jellyfish Fields, because I liked the way the lava looked. Like very atmospheric. Mm -hmm. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Come on, watermelon. Let's wait, let's wait. Spikes. Battery looks so adorable in this game, I think. Watermelons are so bouncy. Ah, spikes. I don't remember if like the targeting assist thing was in the original game. But you know, I, I like that it's here. It works really well. Most of the time it is. Okay, I remember that there yeah, there's a sock like here, but it's also uh, one of the socks I had to look up. Because how the hell are you supposed to see that? Come on, Patrick. Sliding. Oh, avoid the tiki's. Avoid the tiki's. Okay, yeah. Let's freeze some water because I can see there's a sock over there. Oh, the ice looks great. Love that color. Else. Shiny object, shiny object. Dead. I love uh, about the animation for SpongeBob Patrick is that every time they like encounter robots, they get this scared face and run away. I love that attention detail. I don't think Sandy has that animation, which makes sense. But I love that Patrick and SpongeBob have that. Oh, how many of these do I have to carry? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I knew it. Last one would hit me. I knew it. Um, yeah, do it officially. Ahoy there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the King Jellyfish. I am. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top poop of the Poop decks? I think I'm gonna start here. using that. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Ooh, new enemy. I hate this one. Not get hit by Tartar Sauce. No, 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 no. Don't hit me. Ah, every time. Let's 
That's much better. Great. Okay, so it's gonna be a little side mission here for Mrs. Pug that we can do with Patrick. So let's see that one real quick and then. And then I think I'm gonna switch back to Spongebob. Hello, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Sure enough, Mrs. Puff. First time I played this uh, mission as a kid, it took me forever to figure out what they wanted from me. Because I didn't know you could destroy these thingies. I was throwing robots at them. Come on. Give me robots. Give me the robots. Oh, that's much better. Come on. Oh, come on. You're kidding. Oh, not the one. Why is this so hard? Okay, maybe this time. Thank you. Play as a whistle. It's much better. This is taking longer than I anticipated. Is that the last one? I don't know, of course not. This happens to me so often that I'm accidentally destroying them, even though I just want to like paralyze them. Come on, last one. No, 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 don't hit me, don't hit me. There we go, that's the last one. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Done, Patrick. You're a real star. <laughs> Did I get a cookie? No. Why not? Oh, I don't want cookies. Okay, let's switch back to the SpongeBob for the next bit. Cause yeah, they're gonna be those shitty key thingies. Because for some reason, SpongeBob is the only one who can like sneak sneak up on things. It's time. Just met a spongeinator. I know. I don't know. It's the Tarsus Source one. Fresh like a spring breeze. Nothing. But can I wait for the tiki? Love opening presents. This way. No one likes tartar sauce. Go away. <sighs> one should think that after, I don't know, 18 years of playing this game, I should not get hit anymore when it happens.
Well, I do appreciate what the remake does is because I don't think that was in the original game. It it shows you where the Tartar source is going to land. Also, later when you have these robots that uh, shoot missiles, they show you where the projectiles gonna land, which is uh, pretty helpful, I think. No, leave me alone. No! I'm vegetarian. I don't want to eat ham. Oh, come off it. This is so embarrassing when you die in the first level. Okay, this time we do it properly. This time we do it properly. No one saw that. No one saw me dying. There you go, that's how it did. Oh look, there's a sucker there. See you! Patrick needs to do laundry. Ooh, already activated. I thought you fell down. Come on. Thank you. I feel like a new sponge. Boy, have to go be quite a bit. Socks this time around. See if I can probably no. Oh, let's just do it like that. It's moving. It's moving very slowly. <laughs> I don't even know if anything's up there. Is there anything up there? You know what, I'm not in the mood for waiting. Oh, can I make it from here? Oh, I can! Nice. Anything up there? No. Oh, sparkly! Hmm. Yeah, wall jumps. Which I think I've also improved in this remake, they are a lot faster now. You know what, uh, I frequently forget every time I replay this game that there's a spatula right here. When I played this remake for the first time, uh, I was wondering uh, how the hell did I miss a spatula in the jellyfish fields? I played through this level like five times already and I just walked straight past it. So yeah, not missing out on that one this time around. Okay, let's go and encounter the first boss of the game. Bubble Buddy! Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today! Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck! You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. Fresh like a spring breeze. Okay, got full underwear. Let's do this. I like that he hums the theme that's actually playing in the level. Oh, 
I knew the King Jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? Like, granted, I think King Jellyfish's rage is fully justified. Like, we're just intruding upon his privacy. He's just having a shower, and then, like, this little yellow sponge comes in, and it's like, can I have some of your jelly? It just sounds highly inappropriate, you know? And then I'm hitting all his children. Look at me. Being the horrible sponge that I am. Okay, should have seen that one. I feel like a new sponge. Finishing slap. Come on. Like, where is he going now? Did we throw him out of his house? Is he leaving because of us? I feel bad now. I made the king abdicate and move out of his shower. <laughs> well, at least we get to have school work. But now the best part of the level. I love opening presents. Corners always get me. This should not happen. This should not happen after 18 years. Let's just slide down normally. I wanted to go that way because I think there's a uh, there's a sock down that way, but let's just do the normal way. Better safe than sound. Mary. See, no problem. You could do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. I mean, he's no wrong. Exit. Come on, do the thing. Squidward, I got your stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Don't make it weird, SpongeBob. Um, what if I just gave you this? Yeah, that's definitely better. Okay, bye, jellyfish fields. Okay, so before he finishes first part. We got a couple more spatulas to collect. So, First off, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? Yes. That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. Go. And we also collected a couple of socks. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some. Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. <laughs> of 
cool. So that's it for the first part. Next time we're gonna explore downtown Bikini Bottom. Maybe also Goo Lagoon. We'll see. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this first part. Of me doing my first ever Let's Play. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.